Hello, Katie. I'm in monkey pajamas, and it's Saturday. I went to a bar mitzvah today, which was fun and all, but the ceremony was two and a half hours. Oy. I mean, I love singing Hebrew for like maybe a half hour, but two and a half hours is a little much. I didn't even get to go to the party afterwards. Moving on, we're talking about a presidential assassination. Do you mean Abraham Lincoln? No. Do you mean John F. Kennedy? No. Do you mean Martin Luther King Jr.? No, wait, what? He wasn't even a president. Sorry. Today we're talking about James Garfield. Who? James Garfield, he was the 20th president of the United States of America. And I don't know why we never talk about his assassination, because it was actually like a really cool story and we're gonna talk about it today, okay? History lesson, yay! Spoiler alert, it's Charles Gateau. So Charlie is like, wah, 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 I'm super awesome. Why don't I get an official title? And Secretary of State James G. Blaine says, oh my God, because you're annoying. Oh. Get out of here. You're banned from the White House. No, shut up. I don't want to ever see your ugly face ever again. So little Charlie is like, but Mr. President Garfield, I want to do something. No. So Charlie goes out and borrows $15 to buy a revolver. He chose a wooden one with an ivory handle because he thought it would make a good exhibition at a museum after the assassination. Spent the next few weeks in target practice, and the first time, the kick of the revolver almost knocked him over. Why is it so hard to shoot somebody? Oh, and he was stalking the president. He wrote a letter to President Garfield saying, Dear President Garfield, if you don't fire that dummy Blaine, the Secretary of State, you're gonna be really sad. Ho 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 ho, that'll never happen, said the ever so confident President Garfield. Guiteau also wrote letters to General Sherman to ask for protection from the mob after the assassination and to the Republican Party, saying, I really hope this doesn't ruin our friendship. He also toured the District of Columbia jail to see where he would be incarcerated. I like the bars. On July 2nd, 1881, James Garfield left for the train station to go take his summer vacation, and Charles Guiteau waited at the train station for James Garfield. When Garfield arrived and saw Guiteau, he flinged his arms into the air and said, My God, what is that? Two shots. One grazed his shoulder and the other lodged in his vertebrae. Guiteau made his way back to his cab, but was apprehended before leaving the train station. But the police officer was way too excited that he had caught the assassinator of the president and did not take his gun away until they got to the police station. Crowds gathered around them. Lynch him! Yeah! As he surrendered to the police, Guiteau said his famous words. I am a stalwart of the stalwarts. I did it and I want to be arrested. Arthur is president now! Chester Arthur was vice president at the time and he was best friends with Charles Guiteau and Charlie was like, oh my gosh, you'll give me a job, like, right? And Chester was like, lol, no. So that didn't work out too well for him. James Garfield was in his bed for 11 weeks before he died. And it's likely that due to poor medical help, that's probably one of the main reasons why he died. Not even because of the bullet. Yato's trial was one of the first high-profile cases in the U.S. where the insanity defense was considered. He was hanged on June 30th, 1882, right after he had recited a poem he wrote called I Am Going to the Lordy. This guy was crazy. So there you go. Kid A, look forward to your Bieber music video, which you have two weeks left to do, Missy. You didn't post a video this week, but I'll let it slide because you were super crazy busy and your punishment is kind of big enough. I love you, DFTBA!